The reason why spirituality seems to be complex, it is not, it's very simple. Why it seems to be complex is only because of this factor. The more you try, the more you're getting established. But if you don't try, there is no way. If that comes to you, you will see your meditation will graduate into different dimensions. Shunya means vermin, emptiness. One thing that you don't want in your life is you don't want emptiness. Why all the trouble that you're taking on in your life in terms of education, family, profession, money, problems, everything is, somehow you want to ensure that your life is not empty. That's all you're trying to do. At any cost you want to see that your life is not empty, you don't mind trouble, but you don't want it to be empty. All the pain people are inviting in their lives just to avoid emptiness, because emptiness is the ultimate poison, ultimate poison it is. You don't want your life to be empty. But consciously if you become empty, that is the nectar of life. That is life, shunya meditation. Shunya means leaving yourself out. If you master the art of leaving yourself out of your own life, fifteen minutes shunya itself can lead to enlightenment. But such human beings are rare who are willing to leave themselves out. Such things come only when one has a deep sense of surrender in them, without assisting them towards surrender. It's not impossible, but rare. It's very much a possibility for anybody. But people, when people are using meditation as a trick to live better, the question of leaving yourself out doesn't arise, isn't it? It's about you. The very reason why you're meditating is your well-being, that itself is defeating. But if I tell people, just meditate, it need not bring any well-being, most people will never meditate. So we are talking about well-being, the benefits that one will derive, which is very self-defeating. See, the reason why spirituality seems to be complex, it is not, it's very simple. Why it seems to be complex is only because of this factor, because it's a process of self-inhalation. Only somebody who is willing to dissolve himself. How can anybody dissolve himself? If I say, I'm going to dissolve myself, you get more established than anybody else. Do you understand what I'm saying? The more you try, the more you're getting established. But if you don't try, there is no way. Just getting that tact or knack of just making effort but not bothering about what's happening. So at the whole crux of meditation is if you just understand whatever happens, it's just fine with you. Then, slowly you are staying out of it. You can't stay out of the effort, but you have to stay out of the fruit that it produces, isn't it? If you take away this, nothing need to happen to you. No benefit. Even if it tortures you, every day you will sit. If that comes to you, you will see your meditation will graduate into different dimensions. But people are always meditating, calculating, am I getting enough or not? That itself is a limitation. But you cannot inspire people without offering them benefits. <laughs> Nobody would meditate if you tell them, you won't get anything, just meditate. <clears throat> So that's where meditations have become limited.
shunya means a non-physical dimension or that which is limitless. It's the most precious thing, but it takes a certain amount of subtleness to even grasp it. If you simply go by the instruction and sit there, physiologically changes are happening. It is a clear step forward. It doesn't matter what you do, what type of practice you do, there is really no substitute for shunya. Fifteen minutes shunya itself can lead to enlightenment. In your normal perception, it is absolute poison. But you drink it and see, this is the ultimate nectar. If you become empty, it contains everything.